does. There's hair. Watches WandaVision once. Pillow talk. Hey guys, welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. Oh, we've been gone for a week. Yeah, we went across Canada. Got double vaxxed. What a life. Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I use Squarespace for my personal website where I do the photography. It's like super easy to update pictures, change the layout. It looks super professional. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. Manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all on one easy to use platform. With Squarespace, you can display posts from your social platforms right on your website. And you can automatically push your website content to your favorite social channels so your followers can share it too. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash unsolicited project to get 10% off the first purchase of a website or your domain. What are we doing? this week Adrian. okay so i don't know if some of you have been in this thing called quarantine and everyone's like at a different level like all around the world everyone's different we just went to our first patio like a month ago we're gonna do an online quiz to find out what level quarantine lesbian we are i think we're pretty deep we are on a jam journey it's like we think fruit <laughs> won't be available for much longer we're gonna watch the world burn but we're gonna be in a lot of jam we're gonna doing have it. jam while we do it <laughs> We thought we were like so ahead of the curve. We we're like, people are gonna be wishing. There's a word for that. It's called preppers. preppers. I have Adriana's old cell phone case, so oh, we, we look ridiculous. It's Harry Potter. So we are gonna check off the things that apply to us for being quarantine lesbians, and we're gonna just see what level we are, how bad we are. Like your face mask is a bandana. No. No, we have real face masks. But I do wear a bandana, as do you. But it's not it's a face not, mask. No. Mm. You downloaded TikTok. Not only did I download TikTok to watch it, I create TikToks now. <laughs> you could follow a Portrait of a Sarah. I did not download TikTok, so maybe- But I'm... you watch TikTok. That's the next one. Okay. You have watched way too many of the cringy lesbian TikToks. I have, and honestly, it's only because of you. Because <laughs> I make cringy lesbian TikToks. No, no, because you sh you're like, age, watch this, age, watch <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even know what TikTok was. Maybe we should make a pillow talk about yeah. it. Yeah. You have made one of those cringy lesbian TikTok. I, I, I don't think yours are cringy. I'm not going to check it because mine aren't cringy. Maybe they are. But you guys can go to Portrait of a Sarah. And decide for yourself and if they're And let us cringy. know if they're cringy. You bought a banjo. Is this what lesbians are now? I don't even know. You have a fermentation project going on. Sourdough starter, kombucha. I'm like this. I know jam isn't fermenting, yeah. but it's like... A type of preserve. Also, I don't there's know if that a counts. lot of um, bread making going on with me lately. Yeah, you have been doing a lot of bread. Do you making. think we're gonna get to bread and jam, or do you think we should just go for fermenting? Let's you just, know what? Let's, let's just go for fermenting. We'll go for fermenting. Because we've done a lot. Yeah. Multiple fermentation projects going on. So we also have to say yes. We do have a lot of canning. <laughs> yeah, okay. You've built something, perhaps a desk or nightstand. I did not build. But you built a what cabinet. Did I, I did. <laughs> okay, yes. So check that for you. You're woodworking. I built a shed. Is that considered oh, woodworking? Yeah. I I'm gonna click it. <laughs> it does. I guess so. Yeah. You restored an old object, cast iron pan, something that you found in your grandpa's basement. I did not restore. Okay. Looking around. No. You've used a power tool of any kind during this time. Multiple power tools. I don't think I've used the power tool. Multiple times. No, you don't. You don't fix things. I'm not that kind of girl. No. You met mm. someone on a dating app and are now in a quarantine texting relationship. Yes. You. <laughs> and you're the next one. It's like a forever quarantine texting relationship. Because you started a quarantine relationship, but it has already ended. <laughs> also you. You are the tools I am, I am, I am you the were, dating. Yes. You started a quarantine relationship, it ended, but then you guys came back to each other because that's love, you know? <laughs> Not that. No, you have ended it. Yeah. You are quarantined with someone you went on less than three dates with. That's funny. That would be, that would be horrible. Be oh my god. Yeah. You're fostering a puppy with your quarantine cutie. Again, you guys have only been on three dates. No. no. Screw it. Your quarantine cutie. Is that? Am I saying it properly? Your quarantine cutie. Yeah. Screw it. Your quarantine cutie is moving in for real when this is over. 
No. No. You have not run out of flannel shirts because your supply is so big. What if because you don't leave the house and you wear the same flannel so you'll never run out? I still think I'm going to check it. I surprisingly don't have a lot of flannel. But you wear like a free shirt you grabbed like a promo at, shirt. at Pride one year. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I've been wearing. So I can't click that. You suddenly have long nails. And you know what? These are the longest my nails it's have ever been. True. They're not long. Also, when we went to Vancouver, I did not bring nail clippers and neither did you. You've been texted by an ex that you haven't spoken to in at least six months. I will check that, but I have not texted an ex. You have texted an ex, or you have texted multiple exes. Like, I'm the person that runs away from my ex, so I didn't... I'm not, mul I'm not messaging anyone. Mm. Even quarantine couldn't make me text my ex. Okay, now you and your ex are quarantining <laughs> together. Does this happen to you guys? You've watched Portrait of a Lady on Fire. I think right. we've watched it. I think we've watched it. We've watched, we've watched it. it. We've watched it. Not more, not than, more once. than once. We've watched Carol, Carol. yes. Yes. You've written a poem. Or a song. Neither. I might, after this, write a poem. That's a good idea. You well, we have watched a lot of Dickinson and enjoyed <laughs> we, her poems. Yes, it's true. You've written a song about your quarantined girlfriend that you've known for three weeks and send it to oh her. Oh my god. Send what would you do if someone did that? Because one time a girl did come to my, in college, she came to my um, apartment and she serenaded me. And I was like, please make this stop. I hate this. With a song she wrote or like a No, cover? it was like, okay, I'm going to like age myself. But it was secondhand serenade. And she was like, I was like, oh my God, do not do this to us. <laughs> okay. I have had that had sent to me. To okay, yeah. You're wearing a beanie even though you were only ever inside. I, you do. I wore a beanie a lot. You have had to replace the batteries in your vibrator more than once. That's a... a what if you just need to recharge yes, it? Yes, recharge. <laughs> That's funny. I'll check recharge. Uh, you built a ladder, climbed the ladder that you just built, and changed the light bulb that's always been too high to reach. I have changed the light bulb. Yeah. I made a makeshift ladder that was like made of chairs. I didn't build a... I'll check it. Check it. I'll check it. Look at this next <laughs> one. You dyed your hair. All right. <laughs> You've shaved a slit in your eyebrow. I'm, I'm just worried like other hairs will grow. We're not young enough to no. do that. Oh, you shaved your entire head. No. You just bought stock in U-Haul knowing it's the lowest price it has ever been right now. But after quarantine is over, the lesbians will single-handedly cause their price to skyrocket and you'll get rich. I have not, but now <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Maybe we should all do it. Show your results. Okay, I've only checked off 10 of the 40. But I am a code red level quarantine lesbian. Mm -hmm. Sound the alarm. We've got a lesbian over here and she's doing lesbian things. Get back to building that birdhouse, will ya? Also say <laughs> hi to your cat for me. I am offended at how accurate that um, was. I have to, I've checked 14 out of 40, so I'm also a code red. I checked more than 83% of quiz takers. And I checked 93% of more than quiz takers. So I guess we're pretty deep. I think though. it was really all the texting relationships that put me over it, the edge. And for you, it was, it was all building, the building using, things. Using my hands with my tools. Yeah. Um, we're going to leave a link to the quiz in the comments so you guys can take it. Has yeah. anyone done all of them? Who's the highest? Who's the lowest? Probably anyone who um, Has a hasn't life. really been in lockdown. This wasn't really for people that have girlfriends. I've noticed that. It was mostly for single people. Like and subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed. And you can follow us on social media. Social media. Yes, on the media of socials. We are on it. Thank you guys for watching People Talk Monday. And we'll see you next Monday. Goodbye.